Emirates has been sold by Mohammed Al Fayed for more than £1.5 billion to the Qatari royal family. Mr Al Fayed's decision to sell was confirmed after the story was broken here on Sky News. Mark Stone reports. Five weeks ago he said it wasn't for sale, but clearly what Mohammed Al Fayed really meant was no one's yet offered me enough. Well now the man in the brown suit has. Harrod's new owner, Hamid bin Jassim Al Thani, the Qatari Prime Minister and representative of its royal family. They are, it seems, two happy men. This way for me, sir. Come on. Move that one, please. Just one in here. The former owner was tight lipped, just a hint at why he's sold. And from the new one, plans for change already. Prime Minister, why buy Harrods? What's the attraction to you? Well, I. I think this question should be asked for the Emir of Qatar because he's <laughs> he was interested in this. And the second thing, we, we thought Harrods it's a very important monument for here. Have you been shopping here? Uh, if the shop will be, uh, they will have customers like me, I don't think uh, Harrods will make profit. But, <laughs> but uh, maybe if it's my wife, yes. And while the sale itself may have taken a few weeks to negotiate, this press conference quite clearly last minute set among the shoppers and those eating at the store's fourth floor restaurant. One or two of them a little bit bemused. After all, they knew nothing of the deal, which, as revealed this morning exclusively to Sky News, was worth a lot of money. And guess, guess how much he sold it for? Woo! <laughs> Half a billion. I have no idea. No, honestly, I wouldn't have a clue. There's just what's inside there is a fortune, isn't it? So 1.5 billion. Oh, yeah. They got a good deal then, didn't they? With Mohammed Al Fayed not talking, we managed a brief word with the man who brokered the deal. This was a, a great uh, legacy that Mohammed has built out. The preeminent pre luxury goods uh, retailer in the world. He wanted it to go into the hands of uh, a long term investor who had the vision for the future. It's changed a bit since its beginnings and may now be owned not by an Egyptian but a Qatari, but somehow it still feels as English as a double-decker. Mark Stone, Sky News in Knightsbridge.